Greetings and welcome back to Cinema Solar Empire Valiant, Tatra Gamara 3. Alright, we just started construction of this big star base right here at this large M class planet. I'm probably gonna be upgrading this one completely. I've also been looking into uh, specializations. Now, I normally don't ever use these, but I might actually do that in this playthrough uh, because. Yeah, I've never actually looked into them, but they could be quite interesting because certain planet classes seem to have certain different effects when it comes to specialization. For example, this, uh, what is it, uh, B-class planet has plus 20% trade income modifier, for example, for industry specialization, and only loses a little bit of max population. Now, if we were to go and take a look back here on this planet, uh, we only have 10% trade income modifier and you do lose a little more population it seems let's actually also go to the capital this is also 10 uh, well I guess you only lose 3 population okay well uh, you also lose culture spread modifier and there's also social specialization and yeah, I might look into it eventually once I get enough resources all right uh, let's continue not sure if it's gonna be Alright, let's set it to speed too. I'm going to be looking into perhaps attacking the uh, Borg right here. Maybe not now, but soon-ish. We also got our fleet over here that we used to colonize all of this. Let's go in there and take over that uh, asteroid. And then we'll also be taking a look at over here. I'm probably gonna build a big star base here as well to uh, sort of lock off this area. I'm going to attempt to not to expand too much I'm going to I don't know make it this big or so a lock of uh, this area for example this with all uh, big star bases to make sure that I have some uh, defined borders where I can make a stand because uh, once the Empire gets a little bit too big it's gonna be easy for the enemy to just bomb one planet and get on to the next one and so on unless I fortify all right, that was quick. Now I'm gonna send them back to... Uh, I'm gonna take this one first. There's nothing here actually. Interesting. I'm gonna send my colony ship. I should still have one around here somewhere. Right here, I'm gonna send this one. Then I'm gonna send this fleet over to clear out this place. Uh -huh. We also got this fleet right here that we... Yeah, we got, still gotta clear this piece of planet, <laughs> planetoid. Uh, we have a decent fleet here, two Manticores and uh, four Galors. In the meantime, the star base is almost finished. I did queue up the trade facilities. I'm gonna need other stuff. In the meantime, I'm also gonna look into getting some more uh, research done. Uh, maybe I'm gonna get Thought Core. Oh yeah, I did think about perhaps making two or even three uh, different fleets. Uh, maybe one Dominion fleet and one Cardassian fleet, and maybe also a fleet for the Perine, although there's only two uh, ship types and one... Well, I guess this is going to be a capital ship. So, I don't know, I guess that would be sort of more of an auxiliary fleet, since it won't be that big. But in the meantime, uh, we're still using mixed fleets. Alright, what do I need? Uh, some more of this stuff, that'll be good. I have maxed out all my research bases, so that's good. Don't need to worry about that anymore. All right, let's get some more population. Sure, why not? That means more taxes. And I still need a whole bunch of this back here. I also need more ships. Uh, what's this? Kalor refit. Yeah, that'll be good. And also, let's uh, go for the dreadnought. I'm probably going to be putting a dreadnought uh, near the... A uh, pork border. How are these guys doing? Totally fine. They're probably gonna be crushing these heavy raiders. I will, however, need to uh, colonize that. So let's go over there. Uh, we have this planet now too. All right. Let's just make sure that we actually develop all these planets. Uh, why is it? Why is it stuck on that? Well. Oh, we, we haven't colonized this one yet, my bad. Uh, we got this one right here. Let's do that. 
let's do that. Uh, Armed and ready. I might have missed some more. Actually, I can take a look on over here. If I see any asteroids that haven't been built yet. No, I got them all. Uh, Alright. Now this place has been cleared. We also have this star base. I was going to build more star bases. I'm going to build one here. I'm going to build one here. I'm going to build some here. Uh, one there. Possibly also star bases here to sort of act as a last defense in case shit hits the fan and I still am able to hold on to uh, this pocket but if that happens things might already be too late but you never know. Uh, I should have some construction ships out there. Let's see how many do I have? One. One mural construction ship and it's actually back here but I want to... Well, I don't know. I'd like to take this planetoid. However, it might be easier to fortify this asteroid. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I'm just gonna build it here. I'm gonna probably build two star bases anyway. Uh, one as a first line of defense, then a second one as a second line of defense, just to make sure that we have defenses enough. Alright, I need a bunch of money, so let's wait for that. In the meantime, my fleets are doing well. Let's take over this planet as well. We live. Now for these guys, we still have this trapezoid screwing around, so I'm probably gonna go around to go and take this planet. I actually don't need that many ships there. Two Kalors might be enough. Let's send you over there, over there, over there, and let's do the same with this guy. Alright, there we go. There's only two police frigates there. Two Gaylors will suffice. I don't want to go through here. This trapezoid is still busy trying to take out these light raiders. I'm totally fine with that. I'm gonna need a star base here as well. Alright. So I'm gonna need more construction vessels. I'm gonna need more money. I'm gonna need more everything. Uh, looks like we gotta build some stuff down here. Oh, wait. Oh well. Never mind. So there's that, there's this place. I think there's one more. No, this one's good, this one is good. Alright, there we go. Now I think I'm gonna fortify this area right here. Eventually I'd like to put down a star base in this nebula too. Because that'll be a nice line of defense against the uh, Borg. Might be able to close them in if I put a star base here and a star base here. That'll mean that their maximum empire size is just about this big. And I might be able to win a war of attrition against them. Uh, what do we got back here? One scout. Alright. Now I could uh, continue colonizing, but I have to make sure that I upgrade my planets properly. I'm actually spending so much money on everything now that I don't have enough money to build a star base so I might need to wait because just colonizing something isn't gonna help I'm gonna need asteroids there and I'm gonna need to develop it otherwise as you can see down here plenty of my planets are losing me money a lot of money so I gotta spend some money on that uh, this is a large M class so it has a lot of upgrades as you can see down here I want to fully upgrade it so that we get the maximum amount of taxes from all of this. Alright, uh, now allegiance here is absolutely terrible. 25%. I think 25 is the limit, the lower limit. At least uh, as long as you don't get hostile culture. That reminds me, I should build some sort of culture building here. Uh, to at least get that going. We're gonna need trade everywhere. We're gonna need star bases. Uh, let's see. Uh, we actually have some ships here. No, wait, only one raider. And we have a few ships out and about. We got a few raiders here. Let's send them all towards this planet. Because I don't need any ships over here anymore. Although I do need colony ships to build the uh, star bases. Yeah, I'm gonna need a lot of money. Luckily my economy is doing pretty well. I'm ranked first for everything except credits. 
Uh, now, uh, the military ranking seems to be a little odd because I think that the uh, this calculation actually only takes into account the maximum amount. Oh shit. Yeah, okay, so this is another uh, problem that I'm gonna run into once I get uh, closer to the galaxy core. We'll run into these uh, big things. And uh, most of these neutral uh, ships are gonna be near the core because uh, of the way of the structure of the galaxy and there's not that many connections between the center and the outer area so the chances of them taking uh, a path uh, through the middle area is limited so once we get over here also i do have plenty of well not plenty i have a few of these asteroids here that my scouts have colonized i'm probably going to be sending out a few scouts to uh, get more of these asteroids to get more resources but now we have the problem of that yeah this doomsday device did i lose anyone yet yeah, sorry kill the cut i thought i had more ships let's take a quick look i have two mantis okay no we do have wayung that's wonderful so what skills do you have a face polarum blast, dark energy cascade, and dominion commander. I guess that's gonna be a support. Yeah, let's get support skill. I'm gonna send Wayun uh, out here. Now, I'm not sure if our guys will be able to take out this doomsday device. Uh, we don't have that many ships. Or oh shit, yeah, that's not good. I'm gonna have to withdraw. I'm gonna send this guy out first. Yeah, we're gonna need a bigger fleet. I'm gonna have to send everyone out. Yeah, so even though we are doing very well uh, compared to the other empires, there's uh, a lot of other threats out and about that will make it difficult for me to actually expand properly. This is why I needed star bases, and I think I might lose one of these guys. Yeah, this colony is dead. Now, where is this guy gonna go to? At least we still have the uh, asteroids, so that's important. Now... Yeah, I'm gonna have to use my money to fortify everything. With a star base and a small fleet I can possibly hold back one of those uh, big things. Uh, right, let's sell a bunch of stuff so that we can put down a star base here perhaps. Crap, I sold too much. Oh well, let's wait. Move us to war. I wonder where it's gonna go. Move us to war. It seems like it's gonna jump over here, which, which is totally fine. There's actually nothing here, just a bunch of extractors. I could possibly colonize those. So where are you gonna go? Oh, no, no, he's, he's turning around. You douchebag. So if he's gonna attack this place, that's problematic. We don't have any defenses here, so... This thing could... Oh, it's attacking the asteroids. Okay, that's that's fine. That might delay him a little bit. Uh, let's see. We're gonna need we're gonna need a star base. Maybe I gotta build one back here to hold them back. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna build a star base over there instead. Just gonna hope that I don't get attacked from anything on this side. Uh, we just cleared this place. Oh shit! What's he doing there? Um. Gonna move you back, gonna move you back. I actually only sent one Galor. This one is dying in this asteroid, uh, in this uh, nebula. That's not good. Oh, son of a, a bioship as well. Alright, that sort of uh, makes things worse. Do they attack each other? I sort of doubt it. No, no, they don't. Well, looks like I'm gonna need a bigger fleet, looks like I'm gonna need a lot of stuff. Uh, we only have a few ships here. Hmm. Now I don't know if they will attack here or here. The problem is that it's gonna be a long way around, so I'm probably gonna have to jump through this uh, system to get there. Hmm. We still have Wayun on the way. Let's see, we got a heavy raider, let's move you up. This cruiser, gonna have to 
gather everything I have. Another raider. All sections Get the scooter. Just heading. Victory is at hand. Okay, we should have plenty now to actually build the star base, but still waiting for the constructor to arrive. Uh, yeah, this is this is gonna become a big mess. I'm gonna need some way to actually fight off these guys. If I can build this star base quickly, that'd be great, but I'm still gonna wait for this thing to arrive. Uh, we just lost the last asteroid, and it may jump back here, or it may jump back here. We don't know. I'd prefer to jump over here for now. Alright, the constructor just arrived. New destination. I'm gonna build the star base, where exactly? Probably down here. Engaging at maximum warp. Uh, we'll see how it goes. I'm gonna move these guys over to this side. And if the Doomsday Machine jumps to any of our uh, systems, we might be in some trouble. And with some trouble, I mean a lot of trouble. Uh, we need more ships badly. I'm gonna need to uh, build some back here as well. Let's see how many jumps is this. One, two. Okay, actually, it's not too bad. I did place this on a strategic location, I suppose. So, uh, we will need more ships, more capital ships, more everything. Mm, I'm gonna need more of these mantis. So, I'm gonna need more money. I'm going to see if I can upgrade this place. Once more. Alright. Uh, we need more capital slots. So... Holy crap, that's expensive. Alright, let's stick with the uh, Gaylors perhaps. We did get the refit, so they should be a little more sturdy. And we'll try and assemble a fleet down here. Doesn't look like the Doomsday Machine has jumped yet. But they might soon enough, and then we're possibly screwed. We have a, a little fleet here, but nothing much. If the machine jumps here, we're screwed. You know what, I'm gonna send uh, the fleet over here, just to be on the safe side. If they take down this planet, that's not too much of a concern, but this is a little bit too much, uh, too close to my empire, in my opinion. Engaging at maximum warp. We must not allow this to transpire. I'm also gonna need the habitation tax, or what is it? Imperial reinforcement. Um, yeah, this one. Sir. To make sure that even if they bomb the planet, we can manage to hold our sovereignty. So this is why I'm gonna stop expanding for now and uh, build up everything I have. Otherwise, I'm just gonna get attacked on multiple sides too often. And it's already gonna be difficult for... Oh yeah, there it is. Bio ship. That's not good. It's not good at all. I'm gonna need to make a stand somewhere. Maybe I'm gonna build Starbase here as well. To make it so that at least anything that attacks from here I can hold hold this line. I prefer to have the star bases next to each other so that it's easier for one to support the other. Uh for my fleets to jump, so we may lose all of this for the time being. But that's okay, there's not that many resources here. It's a lot more important to hold this line. Yeah, there's probably going to be starbase here as well, so that'll make it easier. Uh, I'm going to need another constructor. We also got some Gaylord. Let's send them to the front line. Let's see. Uh, constructor, this one. Not allow this to transpire. 
you know, if they if they want to shoot their way through all of this, that's good. That's going to delay them. That's going to give me an opportunity to actually build up a fleet and some star bases. Now the Doomsday Machine hasn't jumped yet. A little bit of luck it has jumped that way or that way. I don't know exactly how the AI determines where it jumps. Perhaps it's random. We must not allow this to transpire. Looks like we get a, an okay-ish fleet here now. Oh yeah, we do have this star race as well. We're gonna need trade facilities, but we're also gonna need some sort of weapon systems and defensive overhauls, so... Let's at least get that. Oh, oh, looks like he's going away. So the ship does not bomb planets. That's good to know. At least uh, that one is gone. And the Doomsday Machine has gone someplace else as well. Uh, still have the Trapezoid screwing around down here. And we have this fleet assembling. Um, we are yours to okay, we got a constructor now. Order. Let's move you up. I'm gonna focus on star bases now. One, two, three, back here. Uh, one over here. We got one here, we're gonna need one here, probably one here as well, and then eventually one here in this uh, nebula. But I don't want to engage the trapezoid yet. Oh, there he is. Doomsday machine. Okay. It's possible that he's gonna chew through all of this. In the meantime, you might have a starbase there. And a small-ish fleet to try and back it up. This is a very small asteroid though. So we don't have a lot of logistical or tactical slots. Uh, so let's see. We will need some tactical buildings, a maintenance dock. I'm going to be building that next to the starbase so that it can sort of synergize. Alright, this place has been wiped, so I guess one chance on two that it jumps over here. I'm going to sacrifice these two asteroids to uh, hold the line. I don't know if I'll have enough firepower to take down the asteroid, but... Uh, the asteroid to the doomsday machine, but we can only try. Luckily that thing has jumped over here yet, otherwise that'd be, that'd be terrible. Okay, we should have enough resources for one. Alright, let's put that um, around there somewhere. For too long we Cardassians have yielded to the outrageous demands of the Federation and its allies. I'm gonna probably queue up. Well, I guess I need Imperial Enforcement first to make sure that no one can take uh, this system unless they destroy the Starbase. Right. Now we just wait until we get more money. In the meantime, we should be getting a decent amount of taxes from this place. But uh, one problem is allegiance. And there should be some... Oh well, yeah, I guess a culture ups your allegiance by about 10% at least. So that's a good thing to spread culture everywhere to boost your taxes. But let's see. I'm gonna need more upgrades here. Problem is that it all costs quite a bit and... Let's, let's uh, explore this planet. Yeah, it's all about where I'm gonna allocate my resources because they're limited at the moment. Uh, even though we have a decent empire and a decent income, there's a lot of stuff to build, a lot of planets to develop. Uh, let's in the meantime also build this. Uh, where is it? Uh, not this one. The maintenance dock. I'm gonna put it over there. I'm also gonna need one back here. 
I will personally be commanding all Cardassian vessels during this mission. Okay, it doesn't look like anything else is happening. What about these guys? They're still popping, I think. And I don't know if this affects the trade income at all. For the Union. Eventually, once I get a bunch more upgrades for my ships, maybe they'll be able to make it. I don't know. Luckily, the starbase itself is totally fine. But yeah, it's a problem. Oh, 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 oh shit. Alright, so shit is about to hit the fan. Wayun uh, is getting wrecked. As you wish. I'm gonna need more. Yeah, Wayun is gonna die. But the Doomsday Machine is losing quite a bit of health, so we might be able to take it down. We might still have a few ships out and about, or maybe not. No, this is all I have. Uh, unless I send ships from back here. I guess these two Galors can help. If they get there in time. Uh, let's see. In the meantime, this maintenance dock is finished. I think Wayun just blew up. I could attempt to build some ships down here. Now, let's see. Uh, which one is it? Oh, this is new. Jamhadar Sport, well, not new, something that I didn't know. Installs a relay station to call in a fleet of Jamhadar. Also prevents enemy bombardment of the planet. And that's interesting. That's on top of this one. That's very interesting. So they'll have to engage the starbase first. That's, that's actually very good. Because uh, like this guy, for example, he's gonna try and evade... Or well, just ignore the starbase and bomb this planet. Luckily, normally, he should be like right here. Which means that he'll be in range of the starbase, so eventually we'll be able to take it down. Alright, uh, we need to build ships, construction base, yeah, there we go. But that's uh, 8, yeah, that's that's quite expensive if you compare it, for example, with uh, this thing right here. So I will build a regular star dock, star dock, tri dock, <laughs> uh, back here. I'm not sure if it's gonna go down quickly enough. I am losing ships left and right. Because this thing does a lot of damage. Oh yeah, now, now this guy is dying. Uh, these Doomsday machines are quite... ...dangerous. Is this working? It is working, but it's not working quickly enough. I'm probably going to be losing most of my ships, but we are damaging it. Maybe an upgrade to the weapon systems could be useful. There we go. Because this thing doesn't really do that much damage on its own just yet. Uh, we are going to take it down, but we are going to lose ships. Uh, Kill the cats is going to be dying as well. You know, let's see if we can uh, withdraw you before that happens. Probably not, but it is what it is. Yeah, Guldekot is dead. Still, the Doomsday Machine is gonna go down. Especially if I can pump out a few Gale Wars back here. That'd be great. Let's just hope that the Dooms uh, the bio ship stays away. We still have two Gale Wars on the way. So, alright. Eventually, uh, the Starbase is just gonna shoot it. Or if I just let the starbase handle it on its own. Let's, let's pull back the fleet. Because it is bombing a planet that's unbombable. Well, not unbombable. You can't get rid of it, so it is focusing on the planet. And meanwhile, the starbase could take down the Doomsday Machine. At least this way I can maybe save my fleet from uh, getting utterly annihilated. In the meantime, I got another capital slot, so uh, let's see. Wayun is back. Let's move you down there. Uh, let's see. I guess we need another one for Guldekat. But you know what? I'm gonna build one of those Manticores again. 
Maybe, or maybe not. I can't afford it. See, it, it, it isn't attacking the starbase, it's just bombing the planet. So this means that the starbase can slowly try and chew through it. Although it's not chewing through it quickly enough. Uh, still waiting for the upgrade, I guess. No, we do have the upgrade. Oh, no, no. Suicidal Galor. Go back. Go back. We're gonna need another weapon upgrade. What will you have me do? I'm also gonna need some of those repair ships. Uh, where are they? I think it's the Corta or Trashgar. Trashgar. Uh, let's build a few of these. What will you have me do? Yeah, the Doomsday Machine isn't going down, it's actually going back up in health, but in the meantime I can try and assemble the fleet so that we can try and take it down as quickly as possible, otherwise... The more quickly I can take it down, the less ships I'm going to be losing. Anyway, that's going to be it for this episode, so thank you very much for watching, and see you next time.